Now we're going to move on to the Carlin Cup, normally a competition ray that gives the smaller clubs a chance of getting some silverware, although in the last couple of years it hasn't panned out that way, it's either been Manchester United or Chelsea that have won it. Can someone break the reign of the big four, holding on to every single bit of silverware? Well, I hope so. Uh, I just wish that within the Premier League, a lot more of the fringe sides took the cup competitions more seriously than they do. You know, for me, you know, it, when you finish your career, it's about what you've achieved and what what you've actually won as a player. You know, I see it's far too often now that people are more concerned than finishing the top four or even finishing a European place rather than winning a trophy itself, which I think is totally wrong. I think the fans are, are more deserving of that, and you should actually put out a strong team. A bit like Aston Villa did last time around, reaching the final. Very unlucky not to have won it when they were at nil nil, and they were certainly. Well, the should have been sent off. Yeah, and a penalty, and, then, and who knows where it went on from there? We were playing against ten men, it didn't materialise for them. But I thought uh, last time around that Martin O'Neill, who was manager at Aston Villa at the time, attacked the competitions in a very, a very good manner. I think he treated them with respect, and that's the reason why they went as far as they did. Uh, and there was a few others, in fairness, too, and the likes of Everton uh, have done that pretty much as well. I think David Moyes is one of their managers, likewise, who does go into every competition to try and win it. And I just wish there was more like that. Um, that hasn't been the case, as you mentioned, Man United won it last season, prior to that, Chelsea won it, which is good for the competition as a whole that the big teams are getting through to the, to the major final. I do think it's a real opportunity for some of the French sides in the Premier League to have a real go and come away with some silverware. So, if you were looking at maybe one of the other sides, you've mentioned Everton, you've mentioned Aston Villa, maybe even the Spurs, although I know they've got Champions League commitments. But who would you tip to win this year's Carlin Cup? Well, there's a few in there. Tottenham would be one of them. Uh, Manchester City, I think, it's very important for them not only to break into the top four, but to bring some silver well to the club as well. I mean, the last time City won a trophy mm. is a long, long time ago, and it's about time a great bunch of fans actually had a, a good day out to celebrate. To go to Wembley. I think Villa, even though they've lost their manager uh, Martin O'Neill, I still think they've got a good, uh, good group of players there. They've been there before, and whenever you've been to a final at, at Wembley, one thing is a player will you want. You want to go back there again. You know, watch the, the appetite, particularly when you've been beaten in the circumstances that they were beaten in. That you want to go back there and prove yourself the next time around. So Aston Villa, regardless of the manager, as long as the players' attitude is right, I think they've got a, a very good chance of making it all the way to the final once again.